trying to set this up. Okay. Okay. There is that. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, I think you can see. Hopefully you guys can hear. Oh, I should have probably done it a different way so that I could kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm... I think that's about the extent that I'm going to fiddle around with this. Um, if I come up from the side, okay, that should be okay. Um, hello, this was my altar from last month. I tend to do these monthly, but this month I was away for some time, so I'm going to take this down and discard this and set it up for... Hello, Snapping Moon! I, I might not be able to see all the chats right away, but I will go through them in a bit. So I am dismantling my last month's altar. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I just, just that, that's, that's just so pretty. So sparkly. This is a sapphire. Oh boy. Let's see. Hello, Summer. Hello, Julissa. How are you guys doing on this beautiful full moon night? I don't know how it is there for you, but here it is a very beautiful day. Okay. Um, I think I'm still going to leave these guys here. And I will, I will redo this a little bit. Okay. So we are almost empty with it. Oh, snap. I usually tend to cleanse my items before I start removing them, but I suppose I will cleanse them afterwards. Oh, good. I don't need a lot of dusting. Let's see. Hi, Lynn. Oh, from Miami, Florida. Awesome. I'm in Massachusetts. Hello from Canada. Oh, hi to all of you guys. This is lovely. And I need... Cleansing thing. Cleansing thing. Okay. We are going to use this. Mm, I don't have a candle. Hold on. I need I need a different cleansing thing. I am oh, going to search my incense stick. Sorry, I'm off camera a little bit. But I'm coming back. Let's see. This incense should work. Oh boy. I have that. And well, I suppose I can leave it in here for a little bit as I get the rest of this stuff ready. Um, now I need matches. Darn it. This is turning out more chaotic than I expected it to be. Hello, Felicia. Hello, wildfire. Cold mornings, then bam, hot here in L. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I... Today my day was... Okay, it didn't start off as great, but it is definitely a lot better now. So I have an incense stick, or a stinky stick as I call it. This is from uh, Witch's Moon. From a while back. And I'm just going to cleanse the items a little bit, cleanse the space a bit. If you go counterclockwise, it banishes the negative. If you guys can see, my hand is shaking so badly today. I get those days. I get those days when I'm doing okay, and then those days when my hands shake really bad. Um, let's see... If anybody else is chatting. Hi, Cindy. Okay. Awesome. All right, so I have that going. I'm going to let that smoke. And as I had mentioned before in my live video, for altar cloths, especially if I want to do different themed and things, I like to use these books, especially if I'm doing something in like a little cubby hole like this. It definitely adds some fun to it. Oh, don't fall. 
and I get to customize it a little bit more. Now this one for Sawain is a temporary one. This one's only going to be here until the night of and until my ritual and I will be moving it somewhere else. So the things in here are going to be mobile, so to speak, and I'm going to be putting them in the basket. That way I can move them around easily. All right, what am I going to do with you? Am I going to leave you here or like what's happening? Maybe. Okay, we're going to do that. And putting things in here. Okay. So this I'm going to take out when I do my ritual. And it's going to come with me alongside with other crystal bits and pieces because I don't think I'll be able to fit everything in there. So I have obsidian, I have quartz. All right, you're 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 leaving. You're gonna hang out on my other altar over here. Where's that? I have quartz and obsidian. And I'm using cards from the Fairy Forest and Enchanted Oracle. And both of them have um, spiritual Sa Sawain vibes. We have Spirit of Sawain and Otherworld, which both connects it well. And oh, 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 how about you don't fall, mister? Okay. Great, I'm gonna plop those guys down over here. Nice. And let's see. I try to organize things and make it less chaotic for when I do this video. But as you guys can tell, that's not exactly happening. Um, this is a petrified wood piece. And I'm going to be doing a lot of divinatory work when I work on my Samhain altar. So this is the pendulum that I'm going to be using. This is from the Witch's Bounty a while back. If I find the video, I will link it. But um, it is a beautiful, beautiful quartz and it has a little chamber inside. Check, put a little secret in. So I'm going just to have this be resting here. Now, speaking of divinatory work, all right, leaving you here. I'm also going to be using my scrying mirror. So I'm going to put the rest, oh, the spot, it's seat here. I'm going to show you the scrying mirror, but I'm also going to cover it up with a cloth until I'm ready to use it. You don't want to have any open portals while you do things. This is how I store <laughs> my scrying mirror. Um, I ended up per I don't remember where I bought it. I'm going to look it up where I bought it. But my husband 3D printed the covers for it and I added some felt fabric to the inside so that I have my mirror. And this is what it looks like. Figured I'd share with you. But I'm going to keep it covered and keep it here until I'm ready to use it. Hopefully that stays. You're going to stay or you're not going to stay? Ha, ah, it stays. So that doesn't exactly show off these guys, but we can do that until I'm ready. There we go. Yeah. That should be a good charging spot for it. Okay. Off to couple more things. When I will be moving it, I will be using a different altar cloth to place on the table. I'm most likely going to be doing it in my living room, unless it's going to be really nice weather than in my backyard. But I don't know if trick-or-treaters are going to come, and it'll be like an extra spooky view for them. So we'll, we'll see <laughs> where I decide to do it. I think I'm just going to tuck it away here. That looks sufficient. No, that looks a little odd. Hmm, there's still 11 days, so I don't want this to be like an eyesore in my little cubby. Um, if you guys can see, I have a sacred geometry piece here inside my little thing, which will act as a little like charging spot as well for the atoms. Hopefully that showed up. Um, putting that here. I think that would work. Okay. And 
using a candle. Um, this is a beeswax candle, and the way that I <laughs> tend to use it is just kind of like squish it onto a plate. And voila, now it has a candle holder, and it tends to stay quite nicely. Sometimes it needs a little bit of adjusting, but it works out over well. So we have that, and I suppose I can add a little bit of like fall decoration pieces to it. As I'm scurrying around for some of it, oh boy. I'm going to be using fake leaves, tucking them little bits and pieces here and there just to give it a little bit of a fall ambiance. I should have probably used real leaves for this, but I decided to go live today. I was going to work on my altar tomorrow since I have a little bit more time tomorrow, but I didn't have a video ready for Wednesday, so here we are. Let's tuck that a little bit here, and see, maybe, maybe if I squish this over this way, pick that up, put that here. Tuck in this place. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty cute. Add in some pine cones. I love adding pine cones. It just brings me joy to add pine cones to things. Okay, I think that about does it. Oh, one more. Oh no, I almost fell over. I have a nether obsidian crystal piece that I'm just going to leave here for now. Or a crystal wand. And I also think adding in another quartz on this side would just kind of help balance it out, make it look more aesthetic. All right, so this is my partial Samhain setup. I will be transferring the crystals and everything that's inside of here to a different location when I'm going to be doing my ritual and adding in the rest of the items. But um, I kind of like to set things up ahead of time and let the energies kind of connect, collect, work together, especially since I brought together a couple associations in regards to um, the divinatory work that, that I'm going to be working with and the connections with the energies of the holiday. Um, another thing that I'm going to be doing during the after this video is adding in my ancestors to start kind of giving them a place of connection and giving them um, some uh, water on the side or like some of their favorite drinks, some of their favorite foods, some of their favorite snacks, stuff like that. I'm going to be adding it most likely somewhere here, either pictures or part of my book. Um, I don't want to do it on video, <laughs> but that's just to kind of start helping them guide their ways here. So while this is all set up, I'm going to give you a nice closer view of it. Um, again, the big hexagon in the background is my obsidian scrying mirror that I keep covered up until I'm using it. And here are the rest of the goodies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this super quick little video. And while I'm here, if you guys want to chat or ask any questions, let me know. Let's see. Um, all right. Oh, Jillian from Poconos. Hi. The God and Goddess are sweet. Um, I got them from an Etsy store. I will link that shop somewhere in this video um, once I get a chance. Let's see what else. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Sherry. Uh, yes, I actually have a couple altars. Um, so I take advantage of this little cubby space that I have here. And 
I have my altar tour video up if you want to take a look at my latest. Well, it's not exactly the latest because I did update things. Right now it's a little bit of a mess. Um, I have another one just by the side here. And this mainly is like a general crystal storage spot type of thing where some of the bigger crystals that don't exactly have a home reside in. And I have my main altar to the other side. It's a little bit of a mess, and I currently have something else set up on that, so I'm not going to show it to you just yet. There is no reason to have more than one altar. It's just a complete preference and space and availability. Um, I'm very thankful that I can do multiple altars, and I kind of tend to set them up for reasons. Like, I have my main large working altar, um, I can link the video somewhere. It's like my altar tour vlog where I kind of share majority of my space and kind of go through some of the things. And that's where I do most of kind of like the the work or the, the witchery cookie, cooking things, grinding herbs, putting spells together because it's a much bigger space to work with. I set this altar up either monthly or per holiday, just like I said, to kind of have... A place for the energies to start collecting and gathering until I'm ready to do my ritual. Let's see. Personally, mirrors can be scary in the charm box. Yes, mirrors could be a little <laughs> interesting to work with, especially if you don't cleanse them and treat them properly. Let's see. Hi, Lourdes. Thank you. The God and the Goddess is from an Etsy shop. I will link it somewhere. All right. Hello, Dindrain. Thank you. And hello to all of you guys. So, um, I th oh, turn the lights on. There we go. I think that will be it for this video, unless you guys have some other questions for me. If not, then I bid you adieu, a good night, and I will go finish my full moon ritual. But here is that. Let's see, can I turn this around and like share my face? I don't know how good is it. Maybe I don't. No, I don't want to. <laughs> all right, so here's that, guys. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, you have a wonderful night and enjoy the full moon. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.